Welcome to the video. Now, this video is one with a difference. As this week, I purchased myself a D90, um, which has been fully converted to infrared. Full spectrum, which whatever that means, I'm not so sure. But I'm not going to, well, I'm not capable of going into any of the technical detail of it, not like some photographers. As the moment, I'm relatively new to it. Now, I just slipped down to the river just to try it out and see what it is. And the composition that I've got, looking down the river, there's a clump of trees and that's set right in the middle which is giving me so much cloud and so much vegetation. At the moment I'm on f18 15th of a second ISO 200. So what I'm going to do is going to take a photograph without the filter which is this is a a 720 nanometer infrared filter which will go on to the end of the lens and I've got a, a standard kit lens on at the moment 18 to 55 and well we'll see how that at the moment I'm only learning so here we go for the, the first shot this is without filter Five second timer and there we have it well, now we will place the filter on still same settings yeah Now that looks a bit dark, but there's a few clear gaps coming into the into the clouds, and it feels right. We will see how that turns out in, in post. So I will stick them up shortly for you for you to have a look at. So then now. We'll go for a walk along, see if I can get another composition over there, or we're just going to go on to another place. Right now we've moved a few hundred yards along the riverbank, facing down to where towards where we've just been photographing. Now, this one, I've got a big clump of trees there on the left hand side. A pile on slightly off centre. The road trees not in the back. I'm still going to stay on the same settings, which is F18, 15th of a second, ISO 200. So here we go with without the filter on. No, that didn't go right. There we go. Now once we can find the thread. There we go. Still same settings. Five second timer. Yeah, there we go. Again. A bit dark, 
but it's got the the clouds brightening up over I don't know if you can hear me properly or not like it's, it's a bit windy so one or two more places I'd like to go just down the lane from there where I live and uh, see what if I can get them images that I want from there as I say this is just a trial and error see what I can get out of it starting to learn how to use it so we get all ship shape we'll go off to the next location right now we're at another location now I've just stopped off at um, another location as I was coming down no two more sorry um, but the I'm losing the light quick so um, I'll put them pictures up so you can see them but now we're at the, at the final place now which is a church which I've shot before a night night time and I'm not going to bother using changing the settings or whatever so I'm just going to take it as it they uh, they are just find my timer that's not it that's it back on the timer focus it in and we're off now that's taken with the filter on so as the other ones time is still on the second one with the filter off there we go excuse me now if I put it onto auto that onto auto that's giving me a reading of f10 hundredth of a second so let's, let's see what that one does. Another one in the bag. So we'll put the filter on. Try that. I hope these are all in focus like. Now that one doesn't work. No, that's that's blown out is that one so we'll delete that so no that won't work like that so put it back to manual we'll go over to the gate let me just get inside the graveyard, the churchyard, as I say, and uh, see if we can get some gravestones in it. Alright, I think we've got uh, enough for now. Yeah, just to give it a try. Like I say, it's just a trial run, is this anyway? And. Uh, So we've, we've actually come to the graveyard, churchyard should I say, and uh, we've got some. So as I say, it's just trial and error, and uh, 
just in case of getting used to the camera, trying different things, and see what it's capable of. So now I'll put the images up, you know, in post, and I say, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments below, please. I like to hear your comments, a bit of criticisms or whatever. And please hit the subscribe button. So until next time, stay safe. Bye for now.